Uh, we welcome you to a live webinar with the co-hosting with uh, Indian Medical Legal and Ethics Association, IMLIA, to a webinar lecture 10, Doctors Are Humans, 100% to be expected from superhumans. With this, I'll just stop sharing my screen and hand over the stage to Dr. Mukul Tiwari to welcome you all. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Shubhi. On behalf of Imlia, uh, I welcome all of you, <clears throat> especially the faculty speaker today, Dr. Mahesh Baldova, sir, a very senior person and a renowned name in medical legal all over India. Presently, he is in Australia, but he has so kindly agreed to present his talk today with us and make us more wise. So thank you, sir. And uh, our secretary, Dr. Anurag Verma, <clears throat> thanks to him and our founder uh, of Himalaya, Dr. Satish Tiwari, sir, I hope he's there. And uh, all esteemed attendees and participants, I'm happy that Imlia is making a steady progress and the credit goes to the inspiration and vision of the founder, Dr. Satish Tiwari. And also the credit also goes to a great teamwork <clears throat> amongst all of us, those who have been office bearers since the last many years, since its inception, the presidents and secretaries. And uh, I really appreciate Medical Learning Hub for uh, giving us opportunity to present our webinars every so often. And I appreciate our energy, as I said earlier, our energetic secretary, Dr. Anurag Verma, for constantly thinking of innovations and how to take the India forward. Now, coming to the introduction of our uh, esteemed speaker today, Dr. Mahesh Baldwa, sir. He is a also a member of Himalaya and his introduction, uh, rather I'll take the screen sharing. Uh, I will, I will I'll screen uh, share with you. Ah, thank you so much, sir. <clears throat> I'm allowed. Uh, uh, it's... Sir, if uh, you are not able, then I will. Yeah, be... yeah. I am, I am, it's there. Okay, okay. It's there. Okay. Sir, this, your this, introductory this is a... slide, yes. yes. No, no, it yeah. Is. Yes. Um, it is coming uh, very big, so it just. Your slide. Uh... This is the slide, no, sir? No, no, your slide is there, sir, but uh, just a minute. Somehow, this uh, view is coming in front of the slide, so... No, you, you minimize it, sir. That will be you, you you minimize your picture. Video. It is clear on my side. Yeah, right, right. Now I can do it. Just a minute. As I said, even by minimizing, sir, if you allow, I can read it out. Okay. I think please. Anurag, sir, you are comfortable, then you can do it. Yeah. Yes, please read it out. Dr. Mahesh Valdaj, I like to read a few lines, whatever I can see. Dr. Professor Mahesh Baldwa, he is MBBS, BCH, MD, FIAP, LLB, so many degrees he's got, LLM, very impressive credentials, PhD in consumer law and MBA. He is a senior medical legal advisor mm -hmm. and pediatrician. He is editor, author of nine books available on Amazon. The names are Legal Issues in Medical Practice, 
textbook on medical legal issues, legal problems in day-to-day pediatric practice. Doctors know your rights and responsibilities under CPA. Desktop reference book on medical legal issues. Textbook of pediatric uh, anesthesia. Textbook of obstetric anesthesia. Drugs is drugs in anesthesia in critical care. Legal issues in critical and forthcoming legal issues in medical practice. Second edition. He was he has been a ex paper setter and examiner for LLM. Professor of Law to postgraduate uh, students of University Department of Law, University of Mumbai. And he has been formerly assistant professor of pediatrics at Topiwala National Medical College and Nair Hospital and Grant Medical College and JJ Hospital, Mumbai. So with such an impressive introduction, I welcome again Dr. Mahesh Baldwa, sir, and invite him to deliver his talk. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Mukul and Dr. Anurag Verma. I really thank Emilia as well as MLH for such a wonderful medical legal session. Now, this basically idea was hatched in my mind on July 1, uh, Doctor's Day when people were glorifying doctors and uh, everyone's message appeared as if doctors are superhumans. To me, it did not appear like that. Why can't judicial machine revise their standards? That was the first thing which came to my mind. Doctors are also average humans since passing standard of medical examination is only 50%. Then why public police, politicians, media, judicial machine expect 100% of medical care and cure from them. It's time to make them aware we are not superhuman, nor we are gods. Even gods are infallible, not infallible. Even if you ask the god for some wish, it is not granted like in a good olden days or in the fairy tales. Now, this is my book for which the second edition is now already uh, edited and it's likely to come end of this year or maybe January 2023. This is the book which was published in the month of March, Legal Issues in Critical Care. It was issued, it was released in the Critical Care Conference at Ahmedabad. Now, this is the thing which came to my mind when I was receiving so many, so many messages on 1st July, Doctor's Day. Glamour of noble profession is plummeting. Glamour of why it is vanishing because of public media, politicians, police, law, they have joined hands to demoralize and demo, demonize doctors. Now, <clears throat> generally, uh, every judgment almost quotes this. Exerly versus Bini. Uh, it is quoted in the leading judgment, which is three judge judgment of Jacob Matthews, and have several other judgments, right from uh, LB Joshi to uh, Godbole and Achut uh, Khodwa to the latest journal of Jas Jag Jag uh, Jasbir Singh versus Dr. Khurana. So there are so many judgments who are, who are quoting this, that which says. That law does not require professional man to be paragon combining the qualities of polymath and prophet, which is a quotation from Charles Worth and Percy. Yet, at the end of the judgment, they label you paragon legally. I just don't know why. Why do they do so? Having written 80 pages, 90 pages, sometimes 18 pages, they ultimately they forget that above they have written that they, they are following Bolem's law, which is average. In Bolem was actually for the, even a small number of doctors followed some kind of accepted practice. That was all right. Then it came to reasonable, respectable. Then it came to uh, that patient should know it. And all that had come and now uh, 2015, of course, the UK is following some other kind of a, a modified version of Bolem 
that is uh, 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 different but we in india are still following bollen uh, there is no question about it so montgomery which is the latest one we do not follow as far as the standard is concerned doctors themselves what what is the why are they who is responsible by we are ourselves responsible to portray ourselves that you are something extraordinary you write in your letter heads and put your so many things in the waiting room and on various other social media platform that you want gold medals prizes scholarship awards cups citations giving lectures seminars as chief guest and everything you put up on facebook instagram your foreign tours new cars new houses though they may be uh, on the borrowed money from the banks of course which is repaid by the doctor extravagant son or daughter's marriage we advertise in local channels youtube insta fb about at- achievements and glorify ourselves and in court also when we are asked to submit our cv we uh, it is a five or 10 page self glory kind of a cv so then having submitted that which judge will exonerate you you yourself make uh, that you are a combination of uh, paragon and a prophet uh, prophet then who can save you doctors are worst enemies of this is the second part of this that we are very quick to criticize and doctor jousting is very common civil surgeons gives opinion against doctors in medical board opinion that is very common and once that is given then in any uh, any uh, kind of a medical uh, medical malpractice case no one can save us uh, recently dr sharad gopte's case which was read in the newspaper that he was exonerated after 21 years of the death of the woman who had amniotic fluid embolism he was uh, slapped with 20 lakhs uh, in state commission maharashtra and national commission has reversed it he also had to face the criminal case where it was one year punishment 50 and fine which of course he got uh, absolved from sessions court in 2018 national medical commission uh, the previous medical council the state medical council gives decisions against doctor that is another uh, bad thing about it if they don't understand what the complications however rare they may be then who else is going to understand and recent judgment of 1.25 crores against a small limb syndrome for uh, performing a usg against a nagpur radiologist uh, 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 it is given by sitting as who himself is a qualified pathologist no unity in medical profession i am a bends before government strikes fail and suicides occur violence or atrocities against doctors occur do make strikes so strikes are called off such learned profession needs one you know four page world's longest uh, code of conduct <laughs> this is something very surprising why <laughs> why we can not restrict it of fighting this code of conduct which is readable by everyone and followable medical protection act has now no teeth no so far no one is uh, hardly people are prosecuted under violence for violence and wrongs of police are never resisted by the doctors or by the ima or the association district police complaint authority has not never received any such complaint even in the case of uh, archana sharma also district police authority which is there in every district no uh, such complaint is received against the uh, police officer who is applying the wrong sections no unity of action of ima iip and other associations and that is the basic problem when you forget in legal terms it is known as per incurium But when doctors forget, it is the exception of it. Now this is little too funny. Legal luminaries have unique algorithms. They forget the uh, some other older judgment, like in the case of uh, Martin Jusuja versus Mohammad Ishfaq. They applied the principle of per incurium. Okay, uh, the judges forget the uh, justice card. You uh, forget about what is written in the Jacob Matthews or I M versus V P Shanta. But in the case of v krishna kumar state of tamil nadu doctor just saved the dying dying dead premature child and forgot to refer to for retinopathy of prematurity and look they applied reception acquittal and what is the punishment 
more than 1.38 crores 1.38 then it's a it's atrocious and such fancy some amounts are not going to reduce any medical negligence i i i can't just think of the basic thing is there are two standards in the same judiciary one is per inquirium for themselves and one res subsa loquitur for doctors faulty judgment appeal only judgment appeal is available if judgment is overruled previous lower court is never punished for faulty judgment no action is taken neither by government or by judiciary doctor has to be correct 100% of times in 100% of the patients for taking care as well as for curing no faulty history investigation diagnostic treatment and surgery referral etc is considered uh, if they are there then they will be considered negligence failure recurrence disability and death is equivalent to negligence unless proved otherwise doctors have no second chance if they made a mistake they make a referral or they do redo the surgery or they say it is failure we'll do it again if there is a disability we will improve upon it there is no such chance now this is the classic judgment the national commission had ruled in this classic judgment which is a recent judgment to 2021 judgment dr khurana's judgment where the national commission held reception acquitter held the anesthetic liable and it was overruled by the national uh, the supreme court that is the only chance otherwise we don't have any chance who is responsible to set the standard we are not sending 50 we are not uh, setting the standard of 50% passing mark is a judiciary is a central government is a state government is a national commission medical commission or state medical commission or previous national uh, medical council of india and five priority points they have laid down the criteria universities the medical colleges there is a classic judgment you know preeti srivastava is a state of madhya pradesh when they considered that uh, from mbbs to pg even if they secured less than uh, uh, between 25 to 50% of the marks they could be given admission to the pg now they are lowering the standard as far as admission is concerned they are as far as obtaining them but they are not lowering their grip as far as the cure and care is concerned with respect to the whatever doctors are doing now this is so clear now mbbs md ms and all these degrees 50% aggregate with minimum of 50% theory and practical exam practical exam is nothing but oral exam except for maybe anatomic anatomy physiology or maybe pathology or histopathology etc so obviously no doctor is obliged to study 100% of the syllabus to get 50% of the marks you need to be pass 50% no one is definitely going to study 100% medical books literature should be should profess only 100% successful history examination investigation treatment and surgical modalities they should be faulted they should be implicated that we have studied this syllabus we have studied these books and they are quoting that these are the uh, explained and unexplained complications and none of them are telling that these are 100% with respect to taking history taking examination doing investigations doing treatment or surgical modality of treatment or subsequent prognostication so nothing is 100% in 100% of uh, so delay in diagnosis misdiagnosis non diagnosis will happen evolvement of signs and symptoms of occur at different time a patient with a gall bladder disease there may be lurking uh, pancreatitis in the background which may efface afterwards there is there are so many things which happen in the human being and every mishap and every accident cannot be equal to negligence this is a wrong presumption now this is a classic case of course very bad but then i have to quote this three judge judgment given sheila ben versus bhavin shah now here phimosis surgery was done unfortunate that child vomited and now is vegetative but the what supreme court held they held that aspiration of vomit material vomit material took place soon after surgery which was a complication which was a known which was known to anesthetist and surgeon and they failed to pre- prevent it now how could have they prevented it now everyone take uh, takes pre- uh, prevention everyone it's a standard procedure to give atropine and metoclopramide and 
all other things but if something bad has to happen they follow the murphy's law if they have to happen they will happen no one can prevent it till why doctors are held responsible for outcome once they have followed the principle of reasonable care given to the patient what in the 99 page of the judgment they will write reasonable care reasonable care reasonable care on the 100th page they will come that patient is disabled patient is now dead and the whole thing is reversed imagine a laboratory investigations we know that they are not 100% specific and 100% sensitive to detect diagnose diseases 100% diagnosis accuracy Uh, is not possible the discretion of legal machinery is holding doctors responsible is difficult to understand for anything in the usg there is a uh, that recent judgment which i have quoted which i told you about the um, nagpur uh, radiologist where 1.25 crore that is the first judgment in red and it was decided in 2022 in june in the month of may and the second judgment where again the kidney was missed the arm was missed again 15 lakhs so in the first it is red one it is 1.25 crores in the second it was 15 lakhs i i personally think these 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 things are they can be missed you do usg once twice even if you do dedicate tifa scan then also things are going to be missed textbook medical literature should only publish gold standard tested drug treatments without side effects adverse effect and surgical procedures devoid of complications and or else propagators of such drug surgical instrument contra contraptions they should be made parties to the suit see uh, orthopedic surgeon uses uses some uh, implant and the implant breaks now how orthopedic surgeon is responsible i am not able to understand now in this particular case the of three judge judgment which is in the blue uh, her like this is again recent judgment again in the month of may 2022 uh, again three page judgment where laparoscopic cholecystectomy was done large bowel perforation occurred but dear friends when the perforations occur first thing i will never think that i have done the perforation so then there are signs and symptoms when will occur and usually the signs and symptoms which occur are of septicemia and they affect usually the heart and respiration and the circulation so we have to make the patient fit to diagnose whether there is a perforation or not this was very much thing which was done by the local uh, civil surgeon the local uh, other doctors but the the supreme court said no we don't agree with that they agreed with some uh, some something which was which they were happy with with the pgi chandigarh's opinion now this pick and choose uh, policy of cherry picking and holding the doctor responsible and making them pay i think this is atrocious drugs causing sgr should be banned now you, we are all aware about that uh, kunal sahas case where uh, extreme form of sgs t and occurred then the second case in green is red eye sulfa drops causing a sgs where which is a now recent case 2020 case and chandigarh nursing home case of versus Sub- subdeep where 10 lakhs were awarded again that is 2022 case now if you don't want steven johnson you ban all those drugs you know which cause steven johnson so that the doctors even if they prescribe this that is not bound to occur and if they do occur then you have to blame the drug or the drug manufacturer or the, the person who is who is now propagating in the pharmacology book and med- medicine books or surgery books or ophthalmology books i think doctors in no way responsible for such, such kind of things no drugs causing anaphylaxis all drugs causing anaphylaxis should be banned now okay anaphylaxis is a curse now in this particular case the national commission in 2013 what they say it seems from the records that inability to incubate, intubate the trachea of the patient after administration of muscle relaxant and subsequent inadequate ventilation during the period of most is most probable reason for severe hypoxia that of course is there and it is difficult in emergency when in a planned procedure it may not be difficult in emergency it becomes difficult and then the last sentence they say there is no clear evidence from records 
which suggests there is occurrence of right enough alexis now you mean to say even the air condition chamber you want to send a sit and find out from my nodes that whether the enough alexis occurred or not this is intolerable practical examinations are more of theory or oral rather than acute real life uh, practical uh, examination assuming it to be true practical examination there are also possess passing standards are 50% only so expecting medical care also or cure also 100% is uh, in real life is not possible so legal circles need to understand the qualifying examinations for all be it undergraduate postgraduate or super specialist they have to judge the doctors from 50% or average persons higher the degree and higher will be their uh, duty of care i think this is again a wrong kind of a notion which they are harboring a person super specialist may be so uh, he must have forgotten about whatever he is written for his undergraduate or normal uh, pg exam he may, he may be busy but then even in the super specialist he is supposed to get only 50% marks are we harming ourselves by submitting academic achievements accolades beyond degree and registrations to court and plead that we are above average and superhuman most of the time we are doing that mark sheet is more realistic legally if one says i am oh, i am uh, over qualified over skilled then bar is automatically raised legal standard is raised for the doctor so what's the point in self glorify when uh, there is no appreciation by the judiciary legal machine never bothers about how much adrenaline you secreted to care about your patient to make them survive so of course with disability or maybe patient may die there are they are taking higher achievements uh, and in qualification skill knowledge and negative sense and granting more compensation it is very clear from nizam institute i'm sure shomama which dr satyanarayan operated upon on this prashant dhanaka it was a rare feat but then or in samira kolis where the whole uh, pelvis was frozen with endometriosis and she did hysterectomy commendable but then in both the cases the supreme court has slapped uh, uh, they held them negligent and that is unacceptable now should doctors just submit mark sheets with degree and registration showing they are not superhuman it is better that we should we stop playing holier than thou don't uh, doctors need to submit mark sheets as a proof of knowledge and skill and five cpd points doctors while fighting malpractice should submit only mark sheet so they understand the level of knowledge and recently in this is 2019 uh, 2022 june judgment where para 118 says for patient a doctor is like a god and god is infallible i pray to the god okay give me 100 years of life is doc is god infallible god going to listen to me and grant me 100 years of life no but the judges are writing this fancy kind of thing and holding them negligent now insist upon and stress upon complication rates rates of recurrence failure disability mortality rate prove that medical science is imperfect enlightened judiciary and prevail upon how when why outcome of each and every case cannot be 100% care as well as cure our judicial machine the doctor should be given grace of 50% accuracy in history taking doing examination making diagnosis ordering investigation doing procedures giving treatment this is apart from you know socio economic and other conditions you know i am talk talking about only medical facts now this was very well pleaded in one case and the classic judgment has come and that is the state of punjab versus shivram where tubectomy failed earlier than this all judgments you know for failure of tubectomy something or other the doctors were punished but this was the first thing at length judges have agreed that failure of a treatment or failure of a surgery is not a negligence and this should be quoted often same is the case with the vinita ashok versus uh, uh, vinita uh, vinita ashok versus lakshmi hospital where, where it was a dnc case where the uh, lot of bleeding occurred pph occurred and hysterectomy was done there again they did not they realized that yes it is a complication 
Apex called disability is they themselves say disability are in many respects even more tragic than death. Nizam Institute they have quoted in one of the paras three judge by judgment says disability is in many respects is more tragic than and they award one crore. This is a clarion call for defensive medicine. So what else you can do? Allow the patient to follow the natural course. Why sweat? Why secrete adrenaline and make them survive? So they prosecute us and get us in all kinds of trouble. How law applies? Principle of delay. This is very un arbitrary, unreasonable. In a simple uh, minor fracture of the tibia, a plaster was applied, which subsequently, because of the injury in a 14-year-old boy, it became um, uh, uh, compartment syndrome. And patient developed ARDS, septic thing are saved. And, and leg, leg was amputated. 70 lakhs were awarded. Now, this is unacceptable. Never use iatrogenic. So if you use the word iatrogenic, it simply means doctor has done it. Ritesh Kumar was a DP Sony. This is again 2020 judgment. Discharge card shows diagnosis of iatrogenic right kidney lower pole injury plus right ureteria, ureteric iatrogenic partial traction plus CBD iatrogenic injury. So once you say this, the court is bound to award you. And 44 lakhs is nothing. Peanuts having written in the discharge card iatrogenic injury. Die reactions. No, if diary, then don't allow the dye to be marketed. You create such a dye which will not cause reaction. Manjit Singh, this is a classic judgment, 2015 judgment, where angiography was done. And uh, as expected, acute nephropathy occurred. And later on, multi organ dysfunction syndrome, and they were made to pay 27 lakh. Now, this is also again unacceptable. Then, judicial standard should be standard of medical care equal to 50% of the best care available anywhere in the world. Now, this is regarding urinary. I have put some selected cases, you know, urinary, mostly it is stones, recurrences, failure, remove to remove to, uh, not able to remove the stone, the avulsion of ureter, removal of the kidney in case of the kidney bed bleeds, emergency removal of, and the first case, which is in blue, 40 lakhs were awarded. A failure to, in this case, everything proper happened. Later on, patient developed you know, colon cancer. Now, how colon cancer is related to renal stone? I am not able, and 40 lakhs were awarded. PCNL procedure, periliferic hematoma. And the kidney had to be removed to save the life of the patient. Again, 45 lakhs are awarded. High grade uh, bladder cancer. So much, if you read the judgment, so much of sweat and uh, so much of hard work they have done on this patient. And again, 40 lakhs awarded. Now, this is not acceptable. Complications are never negligence. Open cholecystic CBD injury, which is known in Bhutan, RDC. This is again 2028, uh, 2018 judgment, 20 lakhs awarded. Now, CBD stone, Viridis syndrome. As frozen calot angle, tri uh, calot angle, uh, calot triangle, stricture of CBD, piled up injury, leakages, and non complications. And we should prevail upon it, make the judicial machine understand that we are not going to budge. IMA and IAP and all associations should jump in. Pancreas, acute severe pancreatitis. Now, uh, what, what is there if the patient dies? I, I don't see anything. And they will find, you know, it's cherry pick some of the mistakes. Uh, award 40 lakhs, hernia, recurrences, failure, infection, mesh, mesh infection, damage to bowel, fecal fistula, peripheral, they are non-complications. Now, incision in the strangulated hernia, the patient dies, what's the, 10 lakhs are awarded. Now, this is not acceptable. Doctors don't wish for mishaps. Now, brisk, vanicum STF, here the table death occurred, 35 lakhs awarded. Now, table death is not in my hand. In the Khurana's case, which I, three judge judgment I have just quoted, the table death occurred, National Commission awarded, the Supreme Court said no, 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 no negligence. See a breast, anthracycline cardiac monitoring not done. Now they are doing the monitoring. And this is not a small institute, Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute, that they will not monitor. They have not written. Or by per chance, on some date, they have not written. That does not mean they have not done it. 
Why doctor is responsible? Carcinoma of sigmoid colon, unexplained bradycardia, coma. This was too funny. Bombay hospital case. So someone dies of unexplained bradycardia and coma and death, and you have about thirty lakhs rupees. And this is a two uh, very twenty nineteen recent case. Acute appendix again from Bombay hospital where they are telling you are delayed the surgery of appendix for seventeen hours and the death occur occurred and short forty lakhs are awarded. Now this again is little unpalatable. Something bad happens and doctor is scapegoat. You are trying to find scapegoat. Pan hysterectomy, post-operative acute renal failure. In paper, nothing is there. Now again, thirty-five lakhs award. ANC treatment protocol not followed still, but but they will find some litigate, some problem. Whether the patient has come in time or not, or the doctor is forbidden to return, right or not. All explanations they are just washed off, and they award thirty-five lakhs. Is non is, uh, is uh, uh, doctor go do you going to decide about dose and diagnosis excessive use of sintocinone and here again this is 2015 judgment one crore awarded for birth asphyxia when the doctor is telling the birth asphyxia for the cord around the neck and uh, the delay in performing the C section was because of the patient party LSC is bleeding DIC AF EF they are not able to tell so if doctor is not able to tell. That does not mean that doctor is negligent. They are awarding twenty-five lakhs. Why? I am not able to understand why Ross Ross Sepsol Occluder is applied for MOP or artery pass for several tall clips left when the patient's life is saved. And removing a MOP is not a very tough job. One who has done the LSCS or some complicated surgery, they can always remove artery artery pass for tall clips and MOP at a second go. Whatever it may be. So these are all the cases. Of course, I have seen number of time in number of presentations. I have been uh, telling in, in this first case is peculiar because in the lowest court they were not held negligent, and high court said you are uh, the lowest court said negligent. High court said you are uh, not negligent, and then the Supreme Court said you are negligent. Nihal court. These are uh, tip of the. Uh, suction cannula remained one two lakhs paid. Madhuri versus Rajendra artery force of remained. Alema versus that mop mop remained. Similarly, this mop left in LSCS mop left in next case and Meena Vyas versus City Nursing Home mop another that mop left. So mop is such an important thing. What I can suggest is that we should all use mops with some metal wires. Second thing, post operatively. If there is something which goes not normally, then we should advise ultras ultrasound, a CT scan or MRI of abdomen to find out anything is left. Either there is a uh, perforation, a mop, some artery force or something is left inside. Now this is again another judgment which is unpalatable. When 2017 judgment where they said the stectomy operation patient conducted to seven gram hemoglobin it should have that should have been IC, ICU. If wishes were the horses, and the governments were pay, government were paying everything to the uh, for for running the hospital to the doctor, then everyone would maintain uh, I, I, uh, intensive care units. It's why a gynecologist. Who is least aware about uh, intensive care protocols should maintain for doing hysterectomy and IC. This is not understood even today by me. Why police is arresting doctors? Another question. By applying, you know, some alien section that murder, uh, then uh, anesthetist and surgeon uh, they are trying to uh, kill and something like that and. They don't follow my Jacob Jacob Matthews, nor they follow National Medical Council guard guidelines, resulting in suicides like Archana Sharma. Our strikes campaign, government action, fail. Just momentary outcry, and months later, everyone forgets. How to resist action? Keep Jacob Matthews judgment ready, NMC guideline ready, which is there on the internet. Take a print out and keep with you. Take action against the police by comp. Police complaint authority under Article 141, 127, contempt of court. Doctors should strike and persist. IMA, I, IIP, and other associations should join, wearing 
black lip ribbons is outdated thing meet district health authority collector state health official uh, minister or some authority uh, to press your point and put book the media the police and the politicians who are responsible for not following whatever the guidelines which are given now this is the dictum which i have for come to the doctors take more risk with higher qualifications skill knowledge and likely to face more litigations and more compensation please remember and write it down on your wall if you are really brilliant you are real not as per mark sheet real you are over qualified over skilled over knowledge then cut your size down so that you face less, less litigations and less complication so finally what should be our role we are humans not super humans we are fallible percentage of marks sheet should show our knowledge skill don't puff your your ego and don't try to be a paragon with ability of polymath and are a prophet let law public politicians media not presume that we are infallible like god as they say for 100% of the patient in 100% of the times what else we should do urgently special and separate media medical accident claims tribunals on the lines of motor vehicle act or workman compensation should be made in each and every state make special ipc section modification in the 304a where doctors are not cannot be arrested and make special ipc section 321a modification non available for violence against doctors to arrest assailants and directions to the police remove the res epsal locutor against doctors i am should intervene never follow never allow a label even a rare complication if you want i i think ima and other associations should intervene where there is a known or unknown complication why doctor should be held negligent thank you very much your suggestions improve improvements special ideas are now welcome i hope i have finished exactly in 40 minutes yes sir very much in time <clears throat> very punctual i really appreciate and thank what you, a wonderful talk you gave thank you and increase our knowledge like anything <clears throat> uh i have i would like to make one or two observations on your talk sir uh you really gave, gave a good message message that we should uh, try to work within our capabilities and not try to be heroes or do adventures just for the heroism and second uh, i mentioned that uh, there should be a no fault insurance you have recommended yeah have uh, medical that's... accident tribunal in each and every state which is a state, yes. actually state is a state matter basically yes. health is a state matter so actually yes. when medical protection act came it came in andhra pradesh first because i have bias reddy was there he is a doctor similarly we can have medical accident tribunal in small states like you know himachal pradesh or uttarakhand or something like that where someone has a good lobbying power yes sir so that's a very good message given by you and uh, i request uh, dr shubhi to take the program forward and any other observations Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I would thank like you. to thank Dr. Mahesh Baldava for his wonderful presentation. I hope that our audience worldwide, who is view, uh, viewing this webinar via social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, must be enjoying his talks. Uh, so, with this, I just hand over the platform to Dr. Anurag Verma to kindly take over the stage. <clears throat> My pleasure and privilege to. say that uh, this uh, wonderful lecture by dr mahesh baldava sir must have enriched knowledge of all the audience many times sir and uh, we must we must have come to know many things uh, we were not knowing and very important thing in today's time is uh, sir you are very right in saying that uh, we should not glorify ourselves glorification self glorification 
is detrimental at times and uh, we should only project ourselves as uh, to be only ordinary humans uh, not uh, very ordinary but an average doctor and uh, so uh, at times when we are uh, already we are some something uh, which is not required which is not expected goes on then we should not, not be held negligent and the judges and uh, and various uh, police persons judges who are evaluating us who are who are uh, to decide uh, at our alleged fault they must uh, know that we are human beings and we are not angels so it is very important message by you sir thank you very much sir for this uh, wonderful talk thank I you sir thank you i want to thank uh, uh, the audience also for uh, the patient listening and uh, i uh, always uh, expect that, that the audience must be there and uh, the medical legal aspects of our medical practice are very important these are not there in any curriculum uh, so it is very important for all of us to attend these webinars now i uh, thank dr mukul tiwari sir also president of emilia to spare his time and uh, to welcome uh, dr mahesh baldava sir and uh, i i am very thankful to mlh also to provide this wonderful platform <clears throat> so that uh, these uh, activities of emilia these educational and informative activities of emilia these are uh, and, uh, these can go uninterrupted i thank uh, my founder president of emilia dr satish tiwari sir also and uh, for uh, always encouraging us to arrange these educational activities i would like to share one more information with audience that uh, aurobindo university of indore uh, whose vice chancellor is dr uh, jyoti mandal madam Uh, along with the indian medical legal and ethics association and mlh we are going to start a university recognized medical legal certificate course very shortly and i will invite uh, audience to join this course because this will be very useful for them wherever they are whether they are in practice or whether they are in service it is a university recognized course and they will get preference uh, to their counterparts Uh, in uh, whatever setting in private practice hospitals also because uh, they will be knowing about the medico legal aspects also so this course is uh, just going to start in the month of july and uh, uh, we should all uh, do this course and we should should get benefit so now i again uh, hand over to dr shubhi dr shubhi for uh, the conclusion of this uh, webinar Thank, Thank you. you so much, sir. It was an honor to listen such a wonderful personality like Dr. Mahesh Baldava. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, kind words towards MLH. Uh, for registration of Emilia courses, uh, the link is in description uh, in the chat box. Uh, in any case of any query, you could contact us at, at our email address info at the rate medical learning hub dot com, and also you could log log in at medical learning hub dot com. Uh, and you could log in with the india courses and get yourself registered as soon as possible so to learn from the eminent speakers it's the great platform thank you so much sir i request all the participants present here to kindly submit their polls as their feedback stands very valuable to us thank you sir thank you dr mukul thank you dr mahesh baldava thank you very much thank you, thanks everybody thank you thank you, thank you ari and uh, see you all soon thank you with this i'll end this webinar and all the deputies for their time thank you sir